hi, you're on Rescue TV with the amazing Ken Downs from Neiman Marcus, the global fashion director, the global, global ambassador of good taste, Thank I'd you. like to Thank say. You. And what brought you down here? I hope it wasn't the imminent departure of the CEO of David Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Many people have mentioned that to oh. me, and I had nothing to do with that. I, I, actually, I'm here because you know we've we've started shipping internationally to Australia a little over a year ago, and immediately when we opened up the opportunity to shop on NeimanMarcus.com, the Australian customer embraced us with open arms and lovingly. So I had to come and meet the women and meet the customers who love Neiman Marcus. It's exciting when you don't always know what your brand means around yeah. the world. And to the top, Australians love Neiman Marcus. They love our fashion assortments. They love our home assortments. So I'm here just to, to meet the lovely women and the gentlemen of Australia and of Sydney and, and to see what's going on here. We buy like a magazine editor. Mm. We believe in trend in a very important way. A lot of people don't believe that trend is a good word. I think trends are terrific because there's everyone talking about fashion. Magazine editors, bloggers, people like yourself, and certainly I have a fashion voice. But I like to ensure that each season I'm giving a very direct and authentic list of items, ideas, and, and messages in. that a woman can invest in and know that her fashion dollar is going to the right thing. The color of the season. So what is the color of the season? For spring and summer as we go into it, it's going to be pink. It's all about blush pink, hot shocking pink. And I'm loving yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. new neutral and yellow goes with everything because there's still a lot of black and white on the runway and a lot of bright white. I'm also insane for a little white dress. You know, every woman understands how to wear a little black dress. So put the little black dress to the back of the closet. Don't get rid of it because you're going to re-love that little black dress over and over, but invest in a great little white dress. It's going to take you everywhere for the spring and summer season. Fabric, what are you thinking? The long and the short of it. I have to tell you, if you love your legs and the legs are always the last to go, a short <laughs> white dress looks terrific, but we're also seeing a lot of longer lengths as well. Okay. Pleats all over the runway. So it could almost be like a bit of a kilt or long to the ankle. Not a maxi skirt, but cut above the ankle with a little bit of a Christian Dior referencing, often with a mid-heel shoe, which I think looks so terrific. And that's a really big trend now, the really pointy mid-heel. Absolutely. And you, something else you're going to want to think about for spring, summer, especially here in this part of the world where the climate is always superlative, a summer booty. I love an open summer booty because it has a real bit of aggression, but in a very sexy sort of a way. Even that little black dress you might tuck away for a couple of months, put a summer booty underneath it, it makes it look brand new and of the moment again. And I'll tell you the handbag, you have to get a backpack. I've been obsessed a with backpack. the idea. Do you know when I see it and right I now. hear it? And as a mother, I think, wow, that's really going to work. But, you know, I don't know. I'm telling, I've been talking about backpacks for over <laughs> a year and a half right now. There's a 90s resurgent. Well, Chanel, yeah, Chanel, Chanel. Chanel. Who's and, and certainly Celine, and certainly I'm loving Proenza Schooler's backpack. Yeah. And also at Balenciaga, Alexander Wang has done one in a ballet pink that when I walked into the showroom, I found it like a heat-seeking missile. It's my favorite <laughs> backpack. I said to the buyer, if you don't buy the backpack, you won't be buying anymore. <laughs> and, and he loved it as much as I do. He's an amazing buyer. Um, but this idea of a backpack looks so right again. Uh, you know, It's not going to be like tomorrow's fanny no, no, pack, no, no, is no, no. it? No, 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 no. <laughs> The, the fanny pack may never have a moment, and if it does, I'll be the first to let you know, but I don't think it's going to have a moment. You know, what's interesting, when I find a trend, I want it to be a trend that has some, some sustainability and something that will last. And I'm also looking for something that a woman doesn't already have in her wardrobe. Sure. I'm thinking about what I told you for fall, what I told you for spring a year ago. A woman wants something she doesn't own. She we wants do. something that's not already in her closet, and so I'm always looking for that pivotal piece, that, that curated item that really updates your closet and makes you look like today. So no woman wants to look like yesterday. So I'm going to ask you, we're talking about trends that you overlay, and I guess that you can go on NeimanMarcus.com and Absolutely. be continuously updated. So what are the essential items, and you, you're getting a sense of our climate and the, the way Australians live, what are some of the key wardrobe building blocks that you then lay your trends on? First and foremost, it is all about a crisp white 
shirt. Shirts on every runway, and I call it shirt chic because it could have a high-low shirt tail hemline, could have a tuxedo front, but with all of the importance of color on the runway, the importance of white, and certainly playing back to a lot of artistic prints, that white shirt becomes a great mediator of the season. You're going to wear it for day, and you're going to translate it into your wardrobe for evening as mm -hmm. well. I love a crisp white shirt for evening. It's very Carolina Herrera. It is one very of the Carolina chicest Herrera. women in the world. One of the I chicest sat behind designers. her at a cinema once in New York, and it was like the best day of my life. I was like, I couldn't concentrate. And, and she's as lovely as she is great looking and yeah. such a talented woman. But I'm crazy about a white shirt and even the translation of a white shirt into a shirt dress. Yes. And it's something that you're going to That's wear over Australia. and over and over and over. A pleated skirt. There are pleated details throughout the entire season. A short skirt or a long skirt. Knife pleats, box pleats, even crystal pleating. Pleats really say to your closet and say to everyone you're walking around, I am of the moment, I am paying attention, I'm fashion curious, <laughs> and I know what's going on. So absolutely a pleated skirt. And I will tell you, because the weather here in Australia is just, it's superlative. I, I would never leave. And in fact, I might just decide to stay because I think it's gorgeous here. But I'm loving the sleeveless jackets that we were seeing on the mm -hmm. runway as well. I, I like that idea of something that's transitional, that's great for warm weather climate. You know, in the United States, a lot of my business in my brick and mortar stores is actually done where the sun is always shining. It's why I love color, it's why I love print, and it's why I like clothes that have a bit of a romantic spirit to them. And I like this look of a sleeveless jacket because you can wear it with a bare arm, but I love it with a beautiful white shirt mm -hmm. or a beautiful chiffon blouse coming from underneath. I think it's a very chic way to look. And of course, a lot of sheer fabrics and often lace that has been reapplied on top of sheer, be it chiffon and organza. Fluidity was a major message on every runway. So a dress that had movement or a skirt that had movement, especially a longer skirt, has a very lovely romanticism and a femininity to it. I, I find that the women that I, I meet all the time in New York, all the time in Los Angeles and Boston and Miami, they want a gorgeous sense of femininity. And the women I'm meeting here in Sydney, that same sense of femininity and romanticism, it's, it's really the earmark of the woman that shops at Neiman Marcus. I like women to look like women. I don't like to dress women to look like men. I want women to celebrate their feminine spirit, to celebrate their curves. And those are the kind of clothes that get me most excited. Well, I'm going to share with you a fantastic Nima Marcus experience that I had. Um, a couple of years ago, I wanted to update my pram for my daughter, and um, the Masoni Bugaboo collection came out. So I jumped on NemaMarcus.com where you were doing a wait list for expectant mothers. Everybody wanted that yeah. pram. So I got, I was number 72 on the wait list, and I, you got allocated a number. I love that number. you remember what number you are. Oh, I remember. And then I got this really sad, devastating email that something had happened, and there'd been a scramble with the wait list, and I had been bumped off the wait list, and I was going to go on the next shipment. Well, I was devastated. Because Does this I, end up as being a good story? Am I going really to hate myself? Okay, this is the okay. kidder story. This is like Neiman Marcus saves the day story. So I wrote to your customer service director, and I, I immediately got a lovely email. I said to them, look, I'm really sorry. I am a hormonal new mother. I need to be the first mother in my neighborhood to be pushing that buggy boo Missoni. You need to understand that I woke up, I registered early. This is, these are the letters. Anyway. Long story short, they very kindly FedExed me in the first run of Bugaboo Missoni. They comped the shipping and they gave me a 10% discount and they wrote me the most beautiful letter saying, we hope that you look fabulous in the streets of Double Bay. And so did you look fabulous? I, I can not imagine that you I didn't. And, did. and you know, <laughs> that, that speaks to the customer <laughs> service of, of making a customer feel good and making a customer feel part of the, the Neiman Marcus family. You know, yeah. it, it's not, even when you're it shopping. It was the letter. It was, it was, it was all well, the I'm gestures. I'm glad you reached out. The, and did you... It was all the touch points. So, you know, they said, let, let us take away this problem for you. It came from, you know, the shipping was comp, it was a discount for the inconvenient, and there was a beautiful letter. So it was really lovely. It was a very nice experience. Do you have pictures of yourself pushing the bugaboo? I, in, I do indeed. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> Here in Australia, the, the bugaboo, the pram, is, is a very top item on our e-commerce site. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they love Provence Schooler. You all love Saint Laurent. Your yeah. obsession with shoes and handbags is no different than women from anywhere else in the world. Um, but towels? 
and bugaboo oh. prams. Well, I guess go. I guess bedding and towels are not easy to you access. You guys do here. great bedding. You guys do Thank great you very bedding. Much. Thank well, you. It's such a pleasure to meet you. What a pleasure. I, I hope that we can keep you, and um, you know. We're excited to welcome NemoMarcus.com with open arms into our lives. Thank you, my love. What Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you.